I bought this Xbox 360 for only 30 bucks. And believe it or not, but it's better than you think. That cash has delivered great bang for the buck given the hours I played it. So I'm going to show you what you can do with this gem as of today, and just how great of an experience it provides. After watching this video, you'll see why you won't regret spending your money on Microsoft's best-selling console, even in 2024. Over the past 10 years, gaming has shifted more towards a competitive experience. Back then, you could choose to either enjoy laid-back or competitive games. Well, you can do that today as well, but the thing we don't have today is f***ing consistent releases. Also, nowadays you're almost forced to be online since more games require internet connection, more games are available digitally, updates are more common than ever and I believe you get the idea. These are trends that basically didn't exist 10, 15, 20 years ago. This could make the 360 a compelling choice as a gaming console, especially since its game library hasn't come here to disappoint you. First, almost any 360 game you can think of can be picked up for dirt cheap. As you know, I got my hands on this 360 for 30 bucks. Now adding another 30 bucks got me all of this. A Kinect, 12 games and over 30 Skylanders. And if that wasn't cheap enough, maybe 12 bucks for these legendary games is? Or how about 29 cents for Fort Sam Motorsport 3? Whatever game category you're into, the 360 definitely got something for everyone. And everything I've thrown at it actually ran great. And graphics? On this 15 year old game and many others, it's not bad at all. This game not only has good visuals, but also incredibly fun camera shakes. In today's games, driving at 200 km per hour feels like cruising. While in Need for Speed Shift it actually feels like 200 km per hour. This is what many modern games are lacking. Fun. Now it's Monday first, then graphics second, because 4K this, 4K that, right? Then comes fun in third. AAA games just need to have the perfect graphics nowadays which requires loads of time and money. So, naturally many move on to indie games, which is where the current state of gaming is at. Nevertheless, the 360 is the home to Halo, Gears of War, Kinect games, Forza and many more. Paired with the highly praised controller, which by the way you can tactical reload, There is simply nothing that beats it. Fellas, if you yet aren't convinced to get a 360, then wait until you hear about the family friendly card lobbies. Oh my f***. No, Shut up, Nick, I need that. <laughs> yeah, this is what Black Ops 2 is supposed to be. <laughs> I had such a lovely childhood, goddamn. Next. Physical games is the way to go as the marketplace unfortunately is shutting down in 2024. Personally I really don't mind it since I like to build up a physical game collection and let's be real, where's the fun in having a digital collection? But sadly with the marketplace shutting down, this means that DLCs on 360 titles will be a tough challenge to get your hands on. Does this mean that online multiplayer is shutting down too? As long as the publishers still support their game, then multiplayer won't be an issue thankfully. Moving on. There are several different models of the Xbox 360. They have different visual appearances, different storage configurations, and different motherboards. One thing to keep in mind is that they all have the same specifications as shown right here. But the Xbox 360s with the Jasper motherboards as well as the Xbox 360s and E's are the most reliable ones. They have the lowest chance of getting Red Ring of Death. Though, only the Xbox 360s and E are a smaller console with a smaller power brick. They have built-in Wi-Fi, more USB ports and they are also running cooler and quieter. So, to have the most hassle-free and best Xbox 360 experience as possible, get this fella right here. Or the 360E. 
price is nothing to worry about as all the models are around the same price class. Additionally, you can mod a 360 with mods such as RGH or JTAG to give you custom firmware, homebrewing or game mods. There are plenty of videos out there if you wanna learn more. But really we haven't come to the fun part yet, which is this boy. Since the day I got it back in 2022, I've actually used it more than I could have ever imagined. Solo, with the family and in school because why not? Still to this day it's a fun piece of technology. It has a couple of great games, but it's connect sports that gathered people together and provided a good time. Fun story. Last year we played the Connect for a solid 9 hours in school. You could only imagine the smell in there. Still, it's absolutely a memorable experience. Sure, all of this sounds great, but why go with the Xbox 360 when newer consoles like the Xbox One or the Series S and X already offer backwards compatibility while also having all of these fancy additional features? Well, while they indeed can play 360 titles, it's worth noting that many 360 games are only compatible with the actual hardware meant for those games, which of course is the Xbox 360. And if you would pass on this console, then you my fella would unfortunately miss out on many great games. But everything isn't about the game library. The simplicity of games just working without any stupid updates, it just all adds up to the charm and provides an immaculate experience. And you could also give the Kinect a spin to revisit some amazing titles. All of this can be experienced on a cheap console, cheap controller and cheap games, with the option to add a Kinect to the table. So now you know that if you have as little as $30 in your pocket, an Xbox 360 would be a great purchase that will ensure you a trip down memory lane with countless hours of entertainment. But there is something I haven't told you yet. Should you really get an Xbox 360 over the PS3, or is it the opposite? That's why I made a video explaining just that, which you can find right here. Or, if you also have interest for the Wii, then I would recommend this video on the right. So fellas, I'll catch you in one of those videos.